Are you looking to figure out what bidding strategy is best for you in your Google Ads account and see even better results? Well, look no further for I am here. I'm gonna address all of the actual bidding strategies inside of your account, which ones you should be using and when to switch over as well. All very important in order to get the best results out of Google Ads. Now, my name's Matt. I'm the owner and operator of Tradesman Digital Marketing, a Google Ads agency that specializes in lead generation and generating high quality leads for our clients. Now, I wanna get right into it and go over all the different bidding strategies for you guys and really give you a good description of what each of them does and how you can utilize them best. So first off, we're going to come over here to our actual campaign settings. We're going to hit overview and then we're going to actually click on our account and figure out which one of the campaigns we want to adjust. For this one, we're going to do the search campaign uh, sales landing page and then we're going to click on campaign settings. Now this is going to pop up and it looks super complicated and a little bit of it is, but today we're only going to be focusing here on bidding. and. What we're going to do is I want to get all the bidding strategies available for us so I can walk you through all of them. We're going to hit change bidding strategy and uh, or select a bidding strategy directly not recommended. We're going to click that. And as you can see, now we have all the options for our actual Google Ads account. Google likes to hide some of these because it knows most people are just not going to use them correctly and waste a lot of money. So I understand why it hides them. But now we have all of them available to us. I'm going to walk you through what each of them does. First off, we have maximize clicks, and this is essentially what it says. It allows you to get the maximum amount of clicks possible. And most people would say, I don't want clicks. I want sales and absolutely I want sales too. But in order to get sales more often than not, we need some sort of data so Google can utilize that to actually get the conversions, get the leads and get the sales. That's why we like to start most campaigns off in maximize clicks. This allows us to generate a lot of data really, really quickly. Normally, once we get 20 to 30 conversions out of it, we switch it over to something like maximize conversions or maximize conversions value to get an even lower cost per lead and really start to utilize that AI on the back end and really optimize the account. This is our favorite strategy by far, and it works very, very well in the majority of cases. And I would highly, highly recommend using this if your account is brand new and you're trying to get better results. So maximize clicks. I want to walk you through the actual details here. Like Google says, maximize clicks automatically sets your bid to help you get as many clicks as possible within your budget. Very simple to do. You can set a maximum cost per click bid limit. So every time your ad appears and someone clicks on it, you can set essentially what you're willing to pay for that. If you set a bid limit that is too low, your ads are not going to appear. And if you set it too high, well, Google can just spend most of your budget very quickly. So you gotta go into your actual keyword planner and figure out what keywords you want to bid on and what is a acceptable price range. Normally, I like to have some sort of maximum cost per click. That way the AI has some sort of restriction and rule in place, just not go crazy with it. Google's pretty good at not doing that anymore, but in the past, we've seen it where it just spends a lot of money and that's not somewhere we want to be. So I like setting this, maybe it's $10, maybe it's $20, whatever your average cost per click is going to be. I would set it slightly above there, but decimal points actually do matter in this because it is in an auction house. I like doing that. And uh, once that's good, you just hit save and you're good to go. If for whatever reason, you don't want to set a maximum cost per click, you can come back, uncheck this and save it and you're good to go. Normally it's gonna be completely fine, uh, but it is just nice to have a fail safe in case Google for whatever reason that day doesn't want to uh, follow the guidelines of get as many clicks as possible. Now moving forward, we have maximize conversions and this is probably the most useful bidding strategy uh, for Google ads. And this is what the majority of our campaigns are in uh, for all of our clients. It essentially tells Google ads AI, get as many conversions, AKA leads as possible for our clients. So if you are doing e-commerce, this is a sale. This is not a lead. If you're doing service-based businesses like fencing, pool installation, whatever, this is a lead. Someone contacted you either by calling you or filling out a form submission. That's what a conversion is uh, for the most part. Of course, there's other form submissions that are like collecting it on an email list or something like that, remarketing later. But for most people, that's what a conversion is going to be. Now with this, Google Ads is AI automatically configures most of the settings and figures a lot of stuff out for you that is going to optimize for conversions, which is great. Takes a lot of the work off of your hands as opposed to having to manually go through and optimize every single keyword where you'd have to before like adjust by a percentage and be like, okay, this keyword's performing slightly better. We have to in increase it by 5% or something like that. Maximize conversion does most of the effort for you here. What we like to do here is actually set a target cost per action, which is what is an acceptable cost per lead for you. And for some people, they'll learn very quickly that, hey, Google Ads is just not for us and our target cost per lead is crazy. But on the other half of that, some people are like, hey, that target cost per lead is awesome. 
Once you get through that first phase of 20 to 30 conversions on maximized clicks, we then switch it over to maximized conversions. At this point, Google will normally have a recommended target CPA for you. Maybe it's $60, maybe it's $20, maybe it's $150. I don't know. I like to give it a little bit more room to run with. So if it's $150, I'd say give it $155 or $160. That way the AI has a little bit more room to run. I've seen in the past Google's ads AI be very conservative in how it bids. And if you don't give it that little bit of extra freedom, it normally just does nothing, which is not where we want to be. And if you constrict the maximized conversions too quickly, and especially too early, it's just not going to bid on anything because it doesn't think it can get you any leads, which is a big problem. And that's one of the reasons we don't use maximized conversions right off the bat. We've seen in the past when we do that, sometimes it works, but in other times, the Google Ads AI is very shy and doesn't want to bid because it doesn't think it can get any results out of it. Whereas in maximized clicks, you just tell the system, get me as many clicks as possible, whether or not it converts is irrelevant, just get me clicks. And that seems to do a lot better and seems to be able to optimize the ad account a lot quicker. And that's one of the reasons we bring maximized clicks in later into the account when we already have conversion data. But of course, you can also unselect this and tell Google, hey, just get as many conversions as possible as long as it falls within my daily budget. I don't care how much it costs me, just get as many conversions as possible. Which for some businesses, hey, maybe it is very useful if you're selling, you know, super high end lawyer fees, you don't care about your target cost per lead, it by all means do it. But for most businesses, you have some sort of target cost per action you want to actually go after. So maybe it's $50.52. And then you just come over here, hit save, and you're good to go. And there was a device bid adjustment here. So that's why it was getting rid of that. Uh, that's something you don't need to worry about. So moving forward, we're going to come back here and we're going to go over here to maximize conversion value. So the next one we want to talk about is the actual maximize conversion value. This is going to be used for more so e commerce that know the exact numbers. It's a little bit more difficult to know the exact numbers with lead gen unless you have some sort of CRM hooked up like HubSpot, Salesforce, Zoho, or even using something like Zapier to send the data back, which it can be done, just it's a little bit more difficult. What we're gonna be doing is setting a target return on ad spend. So for example, if you're selling something for $300 and you want a 300% return, your ad spend would be in the neighborhood of $100. For example, as you can see in this ad group two, your ad spend's $100 you make $300 in revenue, your return on ad spend is three. So that would be 300% essentially the same format as maximized conversions, just put differently, essentially made for it. It's more convenient for e-commerce to use this as they normally know their numbers a lot better, but essentially does the exact same thing. And it just allows you to get leads for the normal cost you want. The next one is going to be target impression share. Uh, this is going to be very unique in that it's not used in a lot of scenarios We've seen it used where brands want to just maintain a position. They want to have a ton of brand awareness, or there's people with massive egos who always want to be number one. They don't care how much money they burn. They're just like, get me to number one. We always want to be number one. And it's like, that's great. You're going to burn a lot of money. And they're like, don't care. Put us in number one. It's like, all right, like we can do it, but it's like, it's going to cost you. And target impression share actually has a few interesting settings. This is where do you want your ads to appear? And you have three options here. Anywhere on the page could be at the very top of Google search or at the very bottom, but you're on the page. Top of results is the top three places below the search bar. So you could be number one, two, or three. And then absolute top of results page. That is you are number one right below the actual search bar. And you can set a percentage of this. What percentage of the total impression share do you want to appear for that if you put absolute top of results page and you put a hundred percent google's going to try to get you in that number one spot every single time that being said once you get over about an 80 percent impression share things become a lot more expensive because competition goes up and google doesn't normally like people having a hundred percent impression share and normally your ads aren't going to be all that relevant google's going to normally tax you a ton of money on this i wouldn't recommend it Normally shoot for right around 80%, that's fine, but anything more than that, you start seeing costs normally skyrocket. Of course, there are certain services and products where there are no competition, so you can have 100%. But for a lot of companies that are competitive, like plumbing, HVAC, hitting 100% is gonna be very, very costly for you. Now, finally, we have the setting for maximized cost per click bid limit. So essentially the same thing as maximized clicks is doing. If you're spending a ton of money on uh, impression share, uh, you can set the maximized cost per click bid limit, but it's gonna spend a crazy amount. So 
really I would leave it blank if you're trying to go for 100% or something like that. Of course, you could always put a cost per click bid limit in there, but generally you're not gonna hit 100% if you have a cost per click there. And then once you're happy with the actual ones here, you can just hit save and go ahead. The final bidding strategy that has been around forever that I enjoy talking about to this day and honestly still has a couple of uses. We've used manual CPC in the past, for essentially diagnosing issues in the account. If we've gone through maximized clicks and then we switch it over to target CPA and there's massive issues in the account, we might use something like enhanced CPC to try and figure out where the issue is. Maybe it's a bad keyword, maybe there's something wrong with it and go from there. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's kind of a fail safe for us. Normally you're never gonna be using manual CPC, but I want to give you some sort of an idea of what it does. It essentially was the original bidding strategy where every single keyword you could bet a certain amount for and you could adjust it via percentage. They also came out with an option called Enhanced CPC, which soon is going to be going away, as you can see here, uh, but it essentially gave manual CPC a little bit of wiggle room to get better results with, kind of like the first version of the AI. But essentially all manual CPC is, is it allows you to set your cost per click for every single keyword. This is extremely time consuming and really you're going to see far better results with maximized conversions provided you have the accurate conversion tracking set up than manual CPC. Google Ads AI has a ton of data on people, demographics, location, audience settings, income levels, and it knows who converts as opposed to just setting some sort of basic cost per click, which sure you'll get the same click every single time, but you don't know who's on the other end of the screen. With Google Ads AI, you can have a very good idea of who's on the other end of the screen and the AI is gonna do the heavy lifting for whether or not we should actually go after that person. So very, very useful using AI versus not using it. Of course, there's still circumstances where you could use manual CPC, like troubleshooting, stuff like that but really it's gone the way of the dinosaur and you shouldn't be using it in most cases and scenarios. Now, if you wanna continue optimizing your account and knowing when to switch over to your bidding strategy and when to look at it, I'd highly recommend checking out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link is down below. It walks you over on what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. As you can see here, is our target CPA bid strategy correct or does it need to be changed, reduce target CPA amount? Really going over the bid strategies and figuring out what is going to be best for every single single account. Of course, if you're using maximized clicks after 20 to 30 conversions, you're going to want to switch it over to target CPA. You should see a massive difference once you do this. Normally they take about a week or two because it is in bid strategy learning mode, but normally your target CPA will be a lot lower than if when it was in maximized clicks. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you on that. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.